Hello everyone. This is your first of two You Pick Tuesday matches. Let's try Cal Sakalik versus Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, thank you. Oh, I thought it said David Henry for a second. That is David Harry. Thank you very much, David Harry. What a fitting comparison this one is. A classic. I love these classic comparisons. Of course, we don't have the clearest shots, things of that nature, but hey. We get to look at these physiques without all the... You know, there's a little, but there's not everything. You know what I'm saying, guys? All the extracurricular drugs that they take now. It was more of a human. And, actually, Cal Sakalik, when he was around, a lot of people called him the next Arnold Schwarzenegger. Is he going to be the next Arnold Schwarzenegger? I don't really see it from the front relaxed. Let's go through the poses. And, to tell you the truth, the, the one thing that they do somewhat have in common they don't have a whole lot of muscle separation in the midsection, in the abs. So you could say that they, they share a weak point. Now Cal does have some good bicep peaks. Hard to size these guys. Arnold quite a bit taller. Quite a bit taller. Known as being six foot two. But I heard reports, guys. I heard reports that he was never really quite six foot two. So, you know, could get in trouble. And Cal, known to be uh, five foot ten. So, there's a few inches there, quite a few inches, but if Arnold really was only 6'1", might be a little bit of a difference. Like I said, the biceps, look at the peaks on Cal, but then the oak, the Austrian oak, he was called that for a reason, guys. He had tree trunks for arms, definitely winning this one, definitely winning this one. Go to the front lat spread, and we're giving Cal a little bit of a break here. This is a 1975 Arnold. And the wheels were so much smaller. Good set of lags on Cal. Holy cow. Holy old suffering. Look at the size of the tag. The number tag on Cal Sakalik. You might as well just throw up something this big here. You know what I mean? Cover up their lags. Whatever. Anyway. Dectric Lewis would not appreciate that. Actually, he probably wouldn't even show up. He'd probably dwarf it. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. Cal... I honestly don't think he has the V-taper, the shape, to combat against an Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold's front lat spread, very underrated. I mean, Cal has the muscle. No disrespect meant to the man, but I just do not think that he has the what it takes, the shape, the size even, to combat against the Austrian Oak. Good legs, though. Good wheels. Turn to the side. Oh, my goodness. Have you guys ever seen Cal Sakalik? Look at the size of his pecs. He's actually standing up to Arnold Schwarzenegger in the side chest, no less. And no, I did not forget my meds. For those of you who might not be looking at the screen right now, drop what you're doing. Have a look at the screen. Look at this. This is a thick, powerful pose. Obviously for Arnold, but I mean for Cal Sakalik. This is worth another shot, another look. So we'll bring up another couple of comparisons here. Oh my goodness. This is both taken at the same, but the same angle. An exposing one, actually. And I gotta say, Cal, right there with Arnold. But he loses by default, because Arnold's calves are bigger. Arnold's calves are bigger, you see that? You almost need that for a framework, for this, you know, for a basement, I should say. A basement for the pose. And, you know, Cal Sakalic, guys, this is un unbelievable this is one of the best side chest poses when you're discussing side chest poses best in the world you better be mentioning cal sakalic and if not you plumb forgot about him anyway guys close one this is a i guess a side chest this is just another example of cal sakalic no not too many people i was gonna say nobody but not too many people on the face of the earth could match Arnold in pec development, chest development, and look at Cal in this one here. Look at the far pack, the cloak, the close pack. Plus, he's got a few of the little goodies there. He's got a, he's got a good big tricep. Does Cal, you know? But of course, he doesn't have the the calves that Arnold has, and this is very exposing to that. I think Arnold's calves here in '75. I think just through his whole career, they got better and better each year, whether he competed or not. You know what I'm saying? He didn't plan on competing in 75, but I think those calves grew and grew. Anyway, guys, Arnold, awesome. Cal Sakalik, oh, underrated, guys. Go to the first 
And unfortunately, the only back shot we have. Cal had a really uh, a good back, too. Look at that. Good, thick, lower lat insertions. Unfortunately, we don't have a rear lat spread of his, but it looks like it would have translated okay. But a lot of these guys in the 80s, 70s, they didn't hit their rear lat spread properly. A guy like Boyer Co., who had an awesome back, much like this one here, he didn't translate very well, the rear lat. Look at the traps, even. Even the conditioning, the hamstrings, Cal, probably uh, maybe even tighter than Arnold. But then you look at the calves, and Arnold definitely takes the cake on that edge. Look at the Christmas tree on Arnold, guys. Have you ever seen such a good rear double bicep? I haven't. Well, maybe not from 1974, I haven't. I can tell you that much for free. Go to the Abenthai, and fittingly enough, both two dudes hitting this the same way. And both guys known for uh, not a strong set of abs. And I gotta say, they have that four-pack look. Flat bottom underneath their belly button, their abs. They're exactly the same. You could take one set of abs, put it on the other guy. You'd never know. Arnold, he wouldn't even know. He'd wake up in the morning. Wow, you wake up in the morning, a quarter to six, you brush your teeth. I assume that Arnold gets up every morning and sings that little tune brushes his teeth go to the most muscular enough of the foolishness I almost uh you know you can slip into foolishness but you gotta slip out you gotta slip out it's like slipping in and out of consciousness I think Arnold takes this one easy Cal Sakalic, definitely a good chest from the side things of that nature but when he squeezes it in it almost goes a little bit too narrow I mean this is compared to Arnold Schwarzenegger for goodness sakes so you know what I'm saying, guys. Cal Sakalic, good. Arnold, a little bit better. Especially in this pose. Now, this video would not be complete without this. We're going to compare their, their crucifix poses. Both of them known for it. Arnold, back in, a, in a, the beginning stages of his career, he was. He doesn't hit it. He didn't hit it in the, in the later 70s. He didn't mid to late 70s, even in the early 80s. He didn't hit it. But Cal Sakalic maybe even only hit this once, but he was known for it. Actually, he was, he's known more for this pose than any pose. Watch Nick Strength and Power's video he did on this, guys, on Cal Sakalic. One of the first videos that I watched of Nick Strength and Power. I love that video. I love that video, actually. The thing was... Cal thought he should have won the 1978 Mr. Olympia. I believe it was 78. I'm almost positive. So when they announced him as maybe fifth place, I think it was. I'm not exactly sure. They, he threw up this crucifix pose as a sign of, I guess, disrespect to the judges. Not only to the judges, but all the guys that placed ahead of him. Because he felt that he was better than everybody. And he felt that the judges crucified him and he you know he did this crucifix position and it was an awesome video nick strength and power did here is your winner guys this was uh pretty much a cakewalk for arnold <laughs> got a battle though in the side chest i do say and that's arnold's best pose one of them they were all my best poses you silly maximus but don't worry i'll be back i'll be back anyway guys that was your first of two Hit thumbs up, get your request in. You don't have to rush, just make sure it's a good one. And, you know, get it in fairly quick, because that's when the most most of the thumbs ups are dished out. And that's what you want. You want your video request to have the most thumbs up. Got to have more than all the other requests. And then I will play it next week. Have a great day.